Hello, this is Velvet Tetro from Visual Gem Studio. Uh, today I am going to be making these earrings. Actually, the color will be this color, color red. Here's another pair with the 20 gauge wire on. So there they are right there. Okay, I'll put these back. Okay, I'm starting out with a beading needle, very hard to see, very thin, and about an arm span's worth of, of um, four pound beading wire, which is actually like fishing wire. And first I'm going to take two, what I'm working with here are 11 a size 11 uh, seed beads, size 11 uh, silver colored seed beads, some drop beads, and a couple of six millimeter round crystals. And also I'll be doing the wire for the ear wire in 20 gauge fine silver um, earring wire. So first I take the the thread and leave about 8 inches down at the bottom of the thread. Bead on four red size 11 beads, bring them to the bottom, and again leaving 8 inches or so, maybe 10 inches. Let's see, I'll bring this down here. And passing the needle back through the first two seed beads. Try to do this with keeping my fingers out of the way. This is the beginning of what's known as a ladder stitch. Now, I'm going to go back through the first two beads of the set. Get this here. It's always harder from the beginning. Okay, I pull them tight. Now I'm going to pick up another two beads. Do the red beads. Well, I've got these on. I'm going to go back through the last two red seed beads on the ladder stitch. Pass it through. And then go back through the two that I just put on. I'm 
going to do that one more time. Take two red seed beads, put them through the last two beads. And then pass them back up through the two that I just put on. That's the next set of two on the ladder stitch. Now the pattern calls for two of the silver beads. So I take two silver beads. Pass them through the last two beads of the ladder stitch. Now pass back through the two silver beads. Okay. Three, four, five. Two, four, six, eight. And one more. So one more set of red seed beads. Pass them through the last two silver beads. And then back through the two red that I just put on. Okay. Now you have your big beginning ladder stitch. Okay, and that's the basis for the earring. Okay, so now let's go and start doing the brick stitch. And we will take one red seed bead put it through the top wire of the two seed beads next to each other. Okay. Pass back up through that seed bead. Now you have your first stitch on brick stitch. Okay, the next seed bead is going to be a silver seed bead. Again, pass through or under the wire between the next two beads. And pass back up through that silver seed bead. Take a red seed bead. Pass under again the wire between the next two seed beads in the ladder stitch. Then go up through that seed bead.
you know, the red seed bead go under the, the wire, the thread, the beading wire, between the two beads and the ladder stitch. back up through the bead. Take another seed bead. Put it through the last or underneath the last piece of thread between the two seed beads and the ladder stitch. Okay. And there you have your ladder stitch and one row of brick stitch. So now turn it over pick up a red seed bead put it through the beading wire and then go up back up through that bead Take another seed bead, put it through the beading wire, and go back up through that seed bead. Take another bead, go under the bead wire, then go back up through that bead. Oh, now here, here I've made a mistake. That should have been a silver bead. Okay. Let's go to did this. So let's see how you correct that. You go back through the bead that you just did. Now, looking very close. You back, go back through the beading wire and then you take the bead off of the beading wire. Okay, simple. So this time take a silver bead go under the beading wire go up through the bead Take one more red bead,
there. Here we have the ladder stitch and one, two brick stitch rows. Turn it around. Take up one red seed bead. Pass it through the wire between the beads. And then pass it up through that seed bead to lock it in place. Take a silver seed bead, go through the wire between the two seed beads below, and then go up through that bead and lock it in place. Take another bead, red bead. Pass it through the wire and then go back up through the wire. Anchor it down. Okay, you've done another. Okay, now the last row on the triangle for the top is going to be two beads. One red be seed bead, and one silver seed bead. Okay, now to make the loop for the ear, uh, ear wire, I'm going to take two silver seed beads, two red seed beads, and push them down through the red seed bead on top. So now you look it looks like there's three silver and three red beads, one on top of each other. So go back up through the three silver beads. Then back down. Through the red seed beads back up again through the silver seed beads back down again through the red seed beads one more time to make a good attachment. Back up through the silver. Okay, check closely to make sure there's no 
no thread that's getting tangled up any place. Sometimes it's hard to see the thread. Okay. Now, start working your way back down. gotten to the point where you've got the 8 inch end and the major wire. So let's put this needle back down and let's make a knot. through two seed beads to the beginning of where the dangles are going to be. Now you can see here that we've got up through here and now we want to start making the long dangles. going to go from 13, 13 red beads. So we put 13 red beads on our needle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we have 13 seed beads. Now we take one silver seed bead. One red seed bead. Four silver seed beads. Two, three, four. And one red seed bead and one of these dangling beads. Now go back up. Through. all of the beads that we just put on that row. Okay. Make sure it's through every bead. Go all the way up. is the longest dangle. 
Now we go back down through. The next two seed beads that were part of the ladder stitch. Okay, and at this stage you want to look and make sure that none of the thread is showing. Okay, next row is 11 red beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven red, one silver, one red, four silver, and one red. Take another one of the dangle beads, little drop bead. I just moved the, the video, so let me just check for a minute and make sure I'm still, okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so now I'm going to go back through, all the way back through this angle of beads. Make sure I went through all of them. And go to the next to the next two okay check it make sure no thread is caught on either side make sure the little drop beads dangle down Okay, now the next dangle is nine red beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one silver, one red, four silver, one red. Another drop bead. Come 
back through. Go back down the next two in the ladder stitch. Again, check that make sure none of the thread is caught. Okay, the next dangle, we've got 13, 11, 9. Next one is 7. 7 red beads. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. One silver, one red, two, four silver, one red. Take another drop bead. Through two seed beads. Make sure none of the thread is caught. Okay, now we've got a row of silver. So seven silver beads. One or five silver beads. One, two, three, four, five. Another silver bead and another silver bead and four silver beads. One, two, three, four, and one more for the silver bead. Silver beads. Go back down. The last two ladder beads. Make sure nothing's caught. Okay, now the last row, the last angle is one, two, three, red beads, one silver bead, 
one red bead four silver beads one red bead Okay, now I'm going to start um, capping off all the beads by, by um, weaving the thread in and out of, of the beads. making sure that nothing gets caught, nothing gets wrapped up. Because at this point, sometimes it's easy for a wire to get wrapped around and it's hard to see this wire, so you have to keep checking. Let's go back down. One. So let's let's see if we can go back up one. Up one. As I go up on this one, I'm going to take the opportunity here as the two wires come together. I'm going to make a knot. Okay, I'm going to stop this for now. I think you get the idea. And I'm going to show you how to make a, a an ear wire. Uh, let me put 
push this over here. Let me get one of these. It's a Swarovski or Aurora Borealis um, red bead, a uh, six millimeter, and Move this part out here. Okay. I'm going to put the bead on the wire. going to get a pair of um, wire tools here for making round circles. Make that a, a ninety degree angle. I'm going to use this wig jig. Your wire. Here I'm just going to crimp it a little bit. Okay. So there you have the ear wire. I also since the 20 gauge is kind of thick, I also filed down the edges that go into the ear, ear hole.
feet there. And then I will just open open this ring and put it through here. So put it through there like that okay well I hope you enjoyed this uh, earring tutorial and uh, come back soon for another visual gem studio video thank you bye